great being here and seeing friends and colleagues and uh, I've known most of you for 35 years since I've been practicing. Uh, some of you weren't born then, but uh, that's okay. Uh, we, we're going to talk about residency by investment. Uh, in other words, uh, one of the categories where people can obtain permanent residency is the EB-5 category. Uh, is it the category of first choice? It may be your second choice or third choice. Uh, when you are talking to the clients, but ultimately it may be the only choice uh, for certain clients to choose as they move forward. Um, as we go through the panel, uh, we're going to be interactive with certain issues and questions, uh, and I would like all of you to be able to come up and ask questions as we progress uh, through uh, our discussions. All right, so don't hesitate to do that. Now, how many of you have handled an EB-5 case? Okay. How many of you think you know what you're doing? <laughs> All right, so this is Brad. That's Sal, thank you. Strong, thank you. <laughs> they're, they're part of that too. Uh, you know, and, and of course, um, one of the other questions I have is yeah, that all those <laughs> who have represented clients in EB-5, who have represented investors in EB-5? Okay. Who have actually set up and been the coordinator of setting up a regional center? One person, two, two, they're very good. Who have actually set up a EB5 project that would be associated with a regional center? South Well, yeah. you're asking. So there you go. All right. so, so basically, I think that you know, just as long as you realise that we, you know, before we get started, the panel is probably the top professionals in EB5 in the country, if not globally. Right, uh, uh, Jeff, congratulations, voted just yesterday to be in the top 25 service providers in the country on EB5, so congrats. I just broke into the top 25. <laughs> um, I was also listed, that's a decided point. And then of course, you know, Craig will tell about his regional centre, but really regional centres in general, about how many, you know, four or 5,000 investors he's brought into the US. Uh, Bruno, uh, is uh, the head of the Investment Migration Council, of which I'm on the advisory committee. And this is a global organisation that looks at migration through residency by investment in other countries throughout the world and they are watchdogs on global migration, including the US. 
which means that if there are issues with any programs, they will look at it and they will write a book on it and they will publish it. And so basically they're very interested in the US program and we were well represented in Geneva this year in June. So thank you for hosting that room. Thank you. All right, so let's get started then. And we're going to go through some basics and then we're going to you know, go through uh, the EB-5 process. Uh, 